Hello everyone, welcome to Techie QA channel. Please subscribe our channel for testing and DevOps videos. So in this video, we are going to see how to run a, a mobile browser based application with APM. Okay, so the last script, the first script of APM we have done with mobile application. So now we'll see how to run the mobile browser and in that browser we can test some other websites. So this is our uh, basic script of with the mobile application. Let's see how, how can we change into browser based. So uh, for mobile application, as we have already discussed in some other video, uh, if you are not seeing the app based video, you can see my previous video. So we need this kind of device name, platform name, platform version, app. So if it is uh, browser based, instead of app, you have to give browser name and in the value, so which browser you want to use for automation. So I want to use for Chrome. Okay. So this is the element click. So find element by ID. We have given some click action for a mobile application. So here we are going to run the URL actually, any URL for testing. Let's see, uh, maybe we can use driver dot get. So maybe this uh, automation practice dot com I'm going to use this website with mobile application testing so same URL no need till this much okay so for this we need to find the locator let's see what happens uh, let's let command and go to APM and the APM server So uh, I think you guys are running as test ng because in the meantime I have changed this test case to test ng so I have an uh, like added a, at the red test it's converted to test ng so you can run it in main class also for a small test case you will get a Java application run a Java application so that's fine let's see in device what's happening and we have to see the logs also device connected and uh, uninstalling the app installing debuggable app this is uh, like uh, appm based apps will be installed for unlock and settings then it will launch launch a chrome okay yes so that's it so we are able to launch a browser as well as we can send uh, like URL also. Now the test case is done. Okay. So we have to click on some button. For example, at least we have to uh, click on the sign in button. Here. So I want to click on this sign in button. So let's see what happens. So how can we find the locator or something? So go to uh, APM inspector. So if you don't know how to do with APM inspector, like see my previous video, you will get to know. I am I'm going to attach. Okay, I'm not able to attach. So I will use saved sets. I will use Chrome. I will start session. So this like it will launch Chrome again. So wait for some time. It will launch Chrome. okay so now chrome is launched now we should enter the uh, website maybe automation sorry automation practice is this is it right yeah dot com so just refresh here and go back go click on sign in button let's see what happens in sign in button what you have what is this contact link so contact link as a id sign in button doesn't have id let's see we can click but still we can click no problem so we can take it from the browser also so as of now we'll okay if you use a uh, id contact link it will click on contact us but i want to click on sign in so here i'm not able to find 
So I have a big X path. I have a X path. So if I add that, so I will run command instead of ID X path. I will add all X path here. It's very big. Let's see if it works fine or not. I want to click. So here something send keys is there. So click. Okay, I will run it. Yeah. We'll close this. Let's see what happening in the device. It will it will restart the Chrome as enter into the site, then it will click on sign in button. So that's what we have written. If export is not working, I will tell you how to get it uh, from the desktop browser. Okay. It went to the page automationpractice.com. Here you can see it's trying to okay one more request has to go yeah with xpath okay didn't click maybe it shows there is no such element maybe the hierarchy change or something so uh, like we'll we'll try to get it from the browser here only let's see i will show you how to get it from here also go to inspect element Click on sign in button. So I have a class login. Control F. So I will use a dot login. I'm going to use a CSS selector. So copy this. So instead of using XPath, I will use CSS selector. CSS selector. Okay. So we need some time after click. We need to wait. So you. Uh, like intentionally, I will add a thread dot sleep also. Thread dot sleep, something like let it be. Just for showing you guys, I will have added sleep. I will run it again. So I'll always like watch uh, this APM log. In Eclipse, you won't get anything after run only. You will get the result pass or fail. But in APM log, you will get to know if any device issue or SDK issue. Uh, some people will get a uh, Android home issue if, if it is not set you have to set Android home as well and browser is not updated you will get to know here only browser version is uh, old version something like that so the detailed error message or logs you will get it in APM log only okay our test is started so successfully went to website Okay, let's see yeah so it clicked on sign in now we are waiting for sign in page yes cool so now you can uh, uh, write a text for already sign in enter the username and password click on sign in button so you can do it that is as like as selenium if you guys are new to selenium maybe you can see uh, my channel like in the same video selenium for beginners I have added so get to know about it if you are very new to automation you have to see selenium first then you should come to apm okay okay guys thanks for watching if you have any doubt on configuring browser and if you face any issue related to mobile browser based or mobile apps based automation testing please uh, put into comments please watch my previous video also so you will understand the basic of apm how to set up everything thank you thanks for watching